Welcome to University Place, Washington. Right now, I'm in the cute little downtown area. There are plenty of little stores, restaurants, the public libraries down here. University Place has become a hot place, a suburb of Tacoma that people are flocking to. This little town of 35,000 people is seeing more and more growth on a consistent basis, both residentially and commercially. Now, that said, even though a lot of people are pouring out of Tacoma to the suburbs, that doesn't mean it's gonna be right for you. So, in this video, I'm gonna take you through the top five reasons that you should not, again, should not move to University Place, Washington, and we're getting after it right now. Hey, if this is your first time to the channel and you wanna know everything there is to know about the greater Tacoma area, eating, sleeping, drinking, working, playing, whatever it is about UP and Tacoma, like this video and subscribe to our channel so you can be the first one in the know about what's going on right here in our local market. And guys, Chris, myself, and the team, we're getting phone calls and texts and emails every single day from people just like you and you and you and you about wanting to move to the greater Tacoma area. And I gotta tell you, I absolutely love it. So if you're thinking about making a move, whether it's in nine days or 90 days, shoot us a phone call, a text, an email, or set up a Zoom call for us to meet so that we can help you make that smooth move to Tacoma. Reason number one you might not want to move to University Place has got to be the cost of living. Compared to Tacoma, University Place is a little bit more expensive and if you're relocating from outside of the PNW, it's gonna be even more painful for you. Overall, the cost of living at University Place sits at about 27% higher than the national average. Right here in this little downtown area of University Place, there are several restaurants that line these streets and to have a decent little dinner for two, you're gonna spend probably around $120 with lunch being about 65. Mm. If you were to hit up the market just down the street here, you can expect to spend about $600 to $1,000 a month to eat out here. And that's more of a basic type of diet. That's not even going too fancy. That's chicken, rice, beans, eggs, and all of that, especially if you have a family, then you're looking at an even more considerable cost to eat. Transportation out here is also super expensive. University Place does not have a big public transit option, therefore you're relying on a car for yourself and owning a vehicle out here is gonna cost you between $38 and $40 a day. That's gonna be figured between the cost of the vehicle itself, the fuel, which right now is sitting at about $4.75 a gallon, and the hardship of the weather, which Washington is known for having a lot of gray and a lot of rain, and that does wreak havoc on your vehicles. If you have little ones and you're planning on putting them in childcare, Numbio.com states that you can expect to spend about $1,300 a month per child for child care. Housing is also incredibly expensive compared to the national average out here. So let's take a quick look at point number two, which is housing. So Housing University Place, this is one of the biggest drawbacks to University Place or really anywhere in the PNW. Housing in University Place, just like this beautiful neighborhood here, is about 66% higher than the national average when it comes to real estate cost. And it's not just about the cost of the property that's going to be affecting you. It's also the limited inventory. Right now there's only 35 homes on the market. And then as if that supply and demand ratio isn't driving prices up high enough, the average home here in University Place is only sitting on the market for about six days. So you have to be on top of it if you're wanting to buy a home here in University Place. The average cost of a home is $647,000 here in UP, but housing is spread throughout all different variances. We have 
townhomes, we have McMansions, we have cute little communities just like this one. We also have a lot of gated communities and waterfront properties. So I wouldn't take that 647 to heart based on whatever it is you're looking for. There's gonna be a huge range. Here you can see a little clip as I scroll through my website and you can see the broad spectrum of homes for sale in the area. So number three brings me right outside of the library here in University Place. It doesn't seem like a huge attraction and that's kind of the point of number three. There's just not a lot to do here in UP. So a few things that really stand out Chambers Bay is obviously a beautiful park and the golf course there is fantastic. You also have the library. You have a lot of places to eat and drink, but outside of that, there's just not a lot for you to do here in town. Most people end up having to take the trip out to Tacoma, out to Seattle. And that's not something that everyone wants to do on a regular basis. Some people want to live closer to where there are options for them at hand. So if having something to do for you in town and close is really important, then I'm going to say that University Place probably isn't going to be the best fit for you. Another thing to really look out for with University Place is your commute. While the small town does give you that false sense of ease when getting to and from places, the reality is that commuting anywhere in the greater Seattle Tacoma area can be pretty rough. In fact, most people in university places due to the lower amount of jobs commute either into places like Tacoma or Seattle. So if you're heading into Tacoma, you can expect in the mornings to spend about 20 to 30 minutes on the road getting into Tacoma. This doesn't sound too terrible. However, it's only six miles away. So it feels pretty aggressive when you're actually making the drive. A lot of folks also work in Seattle. So if they are looking to drive to the city every day, they're looking at about a two hour to two and a half hour round trip commute into Seattle. This gets pretty exhausting if you're someone that does work five days a week. There are some employers like Amazon that offer three day work schedules. That option is out there for you as well. And if you need to leave the area to fly out for work, SeaTac is going to take you somewhere between 39 minutes and an hour, depending on traffic. If you're someone that flies in and out a lot for work, this could be something you take into consideration. Ultimately, the drive and the distance is not what concerns me with University Place for you. It's more of the congestion, the stop and go traffic, and the overall annoyance. You need to make sure that you're giving yourself plenty of buffer if you decide to live in University Place and commute for work. And for that reason, this might not be the best place for you to live. If you're someone that can work from home, this option obviously is a lot better. I know we just talked a lot about the negative sides of University Place and how a lot of those things might not make it the right place for you to relocate to. But I gotta tell you, the pros definitely outweigh the cons for me when it comes to University Place. The small town feel, the ease of access of getting around town while still having local options for food and entertainment, a great school system, makes University Place 10 times more appealing. Now, this one, again, it might not be the right place for you and yours, but that doesn't mean there aren't options close by that we can help you get into. So whether you're looking at moving to the Tacoma area in nine days or 90 days, shoot us a call, a text, an email, or set up a Zoom for us to meet in person so that we can help you find the right place to head out to when you move to the greater Tacoma area. And until next time, I cannot wait till you're out here so I can show you around.